because he has too many players coming in from the under 17 side. They will play for the black princesses. And that is, you see, when you have quality and you have two places or two players filling a role, it also ensures that you have always the best players in play because nobody throws entitled to a position in the team. Oh, Sunny nearly causing a bit of trouble as that was spilled over in the box of Ghana, but it's been well dealt with with the defense line. Quickly sent across Abdullah Karma falls deep to help with defensive duty. It's a Apuncha. Oh, lovely trying to go on in Maka Kanti. She does a beautiful list on the pass onto the far side. Here comes the hot chase. There's two. Stop waiting for it. And Tracy James got actually absolutely. Her head down was not the best. I think she wanted to head the ball before the defender got to her. And instead of heading it in, she headed it back home. Giving the Senegalese yet another breather. Certainly. I mean, they nearly put the break on them. But here it comes. Alassane for Ghana. Yeah. Oh, brilliant play from Nyako. Bella Nyako. I, I look at the progress Senegal football is making. And I cannot find that same benchmark for women's football for Senegal. Because look at the progression of the men. They seem to be dominating from the senior side right to the under-17 side. And I've been talking of the men. I know tomorrow there is another crunch game. Well, Ghana versus Senegal. Perhaps the final before the final. Is that, that's a double dose. And yes. And I mean, what joy will it be for Ghanaians if... It becomes a double. <laughs> I mean, over the francophone drivers. Oh, so let's see. Uh, so that game will be happening at the Crossbow Stadium tomorrow. But for now, the focus is here at the Cape Crossbow Stadium. That was a huge kick there. And here is the lady of the moment. Can this be her turn? Go! Oh, my goodness. Spills it off. Oh, Sonny. I think it went beyond the byline, and so it to be a walking goal kick. Well, she was both in the previous game. She made her name against Uganda, and today she seems to be the real orchestrator everywhere for the Black Princesses. She's playing on top of that, sir. But apparently, from what I'm seeing now, she's only the decoy, making sure that Tracy and Ophelia are the, the main suspects. But when she gets the opportunity, she does not let it go. Oh, we're talking about Abdullah Bukirama had a short stint in Spain. Oh, Deportivo Alavex. Uh, she's now back to the country. Oh, she plies the trade for Hazekes ladies. And she's been doing very well in the Ghana Women's Premier League. A real threat any day. I mean, her quality has not been in doubt. For somebody to have gone to the World Cup and the 17 World Cup to finish as top scorer and to be awarded the well, among the best, the bronze player for the tournament speaks volumes. Just unfortunate that she hasn't been able to follow that up with a, another still stellar performance at the under 20 side. But perhaps. Now that Ghana has qualified for the under 20 side, I mean, World Cup in Colombia, should she make the team? Maybe she'll pick up the pieces from where she left off in 2017. And she's already showing some glimpses of promise here. Here she comes, Abdullah Bukarama. Oh, a bit of clever touch there from Sonic. Every time she gets the ball, it's a threat to the Senegalese. And they always have to find a way of stopping her before she gets into the final third. So yes, we can leave very slinky and very agile anytime she's on the move. And you need this Senegalese defense to be on the red hot look for this uh, name, Abdullah, Tracy Chim, Aponsa, these three ladies. The true, the deadly true. But looks like Sek is getting ready to come in. She plays for Dakar. Secret call. I think the Senegalese are making a change. 
the player who received the knock was not able to make a return. You know, she was also stretched off and she didn't make a return. So she's being replaced. Well, we'll confirm that he's shot back for now. It's Ghana's free kick. And so that's a confirmation for you. It's player in the five set for Senegal. Mende, who has been retracted in this game. Binta Sek has been introduced in the place of Noeli Mende. But it is Ghana's free kick. Very advantageous position if well taken by the uh, Ampim Dakwa. Ladies. Star player, Ophelia Sewa Ponsa. Oh, but that's poor from a player that caliber. That was a poor execution. Poor execution. I thought she was going to play the decoy and allow somebody from behind to come and shoot it in. But well, they've got a chance here to recruit from the back to their goalkeeper. Ajin Jai, who has been the busiest of the two goalkeepers tonight. Let's try and see if she be for the I in her shoes at all. Because <laughs> you have no rest. You have no rest at all. If you have a side that has a deadly duel in the likes of Mukarama, Tracy, and Ophelia, you get very little rest. But so it looks like we're in for the water we, break. We haven't even seen the surgeons of comfort here. Boy. You know, sometimes out from nowhere, she, she surges forward, and by the time you know, she scored a goal. We haven't seen, and I think this evening, they are playing at the express instructions to stick to the role that they have been given. Well, certainly, Comfort Ibuwa is also a player for the the national women's team, the Black Queens of Ghana, featured against Zambia over those two legs of the Olympic qualifier. There are some players who would always have a double role to play when their services are needed. And one of such players is Comfort Yabua. Well, talking about uh, Stella Nyami, she's not been part of this squad. Quality player in her own right. Really missed her in the setup. Yes, because I think that Per the tournament rules, she did not qualify to play for, to play in this competition because they gave a, an age limit, and so with that age limit, you were within a certain year, you could not play, and that is how comes telling I mean, is not in the squad. But we rest assured. I mean, if she is qualified to play, Basigi will take her to the World Cup. Well, talking about this, Gaffa coach, you see Basigi. His accolade and trophy cabinet is quite interesting to this have a sight of. This is his 15th game in one year, and he has not dropped a point. You remember the World Cup qualifiers? They went on to play the Wafu Under 20 tournament in Ghana last year, which they won. Among others, beating Niger by 11 goals to nil. And then they went on to play their international training matches in Paris. Oh my goodness, that was nearly a whole lot there. Miscommunication. You can't blame, you can't blame her. She was under pressure. And sack. Interestingly, yes. the new the, face. The Nanta said. I mean, you can't blame her. She was under pressure and she wanted to play the ball to safety. I think at least getting a corner is better than conceding an own goal. But that could have been disastrous. That it could have been. That is how come getting a corner is better than conceding an own goal. Well, or, or getting the Ghanaians to score from that effort. Well, so let's see. They stay within this game. Lifted into the box. Oh, my goodness. What a head. Saved by the bar. Oh. Saved by the first bar. And the Taranga Lionesses once again have survived the scare, but they've switched on the Kadi, attack. Kadi has been very busy. She has been very busy. Very, very she can't, she can't wait for the final. The Los bancos. Existe una opinión generalizada sobre nosotros, y no siempre es positiva. Just raising the first bar. Oh, I mean, she says, thank you. This is where you belong, in my hands. 
Oh, lovely play from the captain now. Diallo has been booted out. And Callum will be calling for it quickly. As they are trailing in this game. But the good news is that the Falcon I top and Jamia this afternoon or this evening were able to outclass Uganda. Uganda by two goals to nil. Are we looking at a Ghana Nigeria final? That, that is an obvious. It looks like the rivalry, the sporting rivalry between Ghana and Nigeria knows no bound. And at any given opportunity, they find themselves in that. I mean, this evening in, a, in Accra at the Legon Stadium, we saw the men's 100 meters semi finals. And I am looking at the final list, and there is Nigeria Ghana rivalry. And a certain Cameroonian SMA also joining the free. So tomorrow evening at the Legon Sports Stadium, we are going to have Azamati Benjamin, Emmanuel SMA, and Irisike coming in to I mean have their chance at a medal or a finish on the podium. So Ghana, Nigeria, even on Fatra Love, there is a competition. <laughs> Well, so that is it for your lot of disciplines on display in this 13th edition of the African Games. We've got football, we've got athletics for you, everything you can think of. Sports, and it's served here in Accra 2023. But here, there's a lovely ball. Always finds the feet of Apuncha, gives it away, and it's back to where it's supposed to be. Al Hassan, lovely ball on the head of Abdullah Bukurama. There's a black person stealing their way through, and again, they are finished way off the mark from the lady again, 22. Way too high. Way See. too high. But the defender did well. Just look at it. Exclusive pass there. Spot on header from Abdullah Karaba. Pascalin did well. Pascalin did well. But a big, I mean, discussion in the dressing will be if you want this. Guardian side against Uganda, the number of opportunities they flapped before they got the equalizer. It's, it's a wonder. I mean, it's not that they don't create the chances, they do, but you don't know whether it is anxiousness or just unlucky not to score, but they waste many more chances they, they create than they convert. Because if they do convert the chances they score, I'm sure there'll be nobody would be able to stand in their way because everybody will be afraid to be conceding. Anytime the princesses are playing, people will be asking by what was the goal margin and not whether they won. Unfortunately, they are young, they are still learning on the trade, and so sometimes they will make some of these mistakes. Well, so they'll make some of these mistakes, but reminding you is that the defending champions of this African Games Women Trophy, Nigeria. I've already booked a ticket. Can can see Judith Oka and Chiamaka Okuchuku giving them that edge to always have sights of this game to know their next opponent in the final. And it's a drawing for Senegal. And I'm sure the officials are in the stands watching to know the outcome of the game, watching, scouting, not actually watching, actually scouting and taking notes to see the weak points of Ghana or whoever wins so that they can capitalize on that in their bid to get or retain the gold they won four years ago. CC gives the ball away too, but they've been able to recover possession in Dai. And it's the Black Princesses once again that will break away. It will find Tracy Chi, oh, lovely one to play between these two players. Can she hit it? But she's got a marker to it. In Bassein, sends it across, but again, Sani watching it closely and defending the line. Oh, she's been a workaholic at the back. He's rather sack to the rescue of Senegal. The coach knows her value. That is why she brought her on. And I think that she's using whatever she has to support and help her team out. Because you realize that in the last few minutes, she has saved Senegal from two sticky situations. They still train. That will stay deep in the half of Senegal, as we've done. 
39 minutes approaching the 40 minute mark in this game with just five minutes of normal time to go. And here comes that short footed of Aji Indai. Lovely play. And it's two on two, but again, the Ghanaians defending their line. It's been a very crappy game. Not the most exciting or beautiful game. Not at all. And sometimes it's typical of such semi-finals when the stakes are very high and one side needs to win. You, at this moment, until you get the results, you cannot advise or instruct your, your side to play a beautiful game. Well, early on, you just saw the worried face of coach my bank team. Well, for coach, you see Basigi also on the touchline. He's smiling a bit because uh, Ades Jancha, his side, is having their nose in the lead. He may be smiling in his head, but certainly not for everybody to see because if you know coach Basigi, he is not happy. Look at his body language. He's not happy that his ladies are flopping all the chances they are creating because if they were to have converted those chances, Ghana should have been up by three goals to one by now, at least three goals to one. Well, so let's see the fans still waiting to see if the brown of football that is Ghanaians are playing will give them another goal, but I would have to wait for another time as there's still one goal to nail, but here comes a lovely sweep for Senegal. Bajil, and again it's a fear. Amanyanuku who comes 18. Rescue the situation. Sends it away quickly. As there's plenty of space up front for them to attack. Up on Sam. Lovely idea from Abdullah Mukarama. Finds up on Sam again. It's been miscued. Safety first. And this lady, she apologized to her teammates for wasting that opportunity. As to sister. I tell you what. The names, the die, the sisters. Yeah, she also plays for Angelo Di Medina. So a couple of players coming from the same team. It reminds it reminds us of those times where you would have Ghana's team made up of post, postal and gutter ladies. I think in recent times you've had we've had situations where we've had teams from Ampumdaqua and Hazakas ladies dominating some of the national teams, you have more than four players playing. And it is because of the quality and the investment they've made in their development of the game. And so it should come as no surprise. For, for Senegal, you know they are now developing their women's football. They are now introducing the inter-club competitions because now CAF has instituted the CAF Champions League. And it's mandatory for you to qualify for even a FIFA support now. You should have at least an organized women's league in, the, in your country. And so that is how come we are seeing most of the players concentrated in a few teams. Well, you can see the captain, Diallo, very furious in that occasion, asking that the ball should, be, should have been directed towards Ghana's goal, but not in that direction. Very furious there. And uh, it tells the story that of the frustration. Very frustrated, not very excited in this game. Maybe they will need a break at least the, the, the half time. They can't wait for the whistle for the half time to come. Because nothing has worked for them. That's comfort here, Boa. Well, here she comes again, comfortable as Spring Cape, but she's been stopped in her tracks. And you she saw how she wanted to overlap very she, quick she gave the ball out and then she moved in quickly so she could search forward with the ball and those, and those hands, ones are very dangerous very those runs are very threatening isa will get at the broken pieces halfway in the own in, in her own half but here comes abdullah mukram against three this could be it oh my goodness oh she knows it Cross her face. This should have been a possible second. How did she miss? She missed kicks. She missed kicks. 
there was so much pressure on her. Don't forget she was being mad, mad, mad. She did so well, but she wanted to place the ball, direct the ball with her left before finishing it off with the right. Unfortunately, the left leg did not execute the role it had been assigned. I mean, she shouldn't be too hard on herself. She would have another opportunity, and that is why she will become a better player. So that's the confirmation. Four minutes of additional time. The big question is, can Ghana increase their tally, or will Senegal get back into this game? As there's a lot of us in doubt, the corner fat from this young lady, Issa. Where most of these Senegalese now push it into a the very, hand. A very disciplined. But look at, look at the goal, that, the opportunity that Mukarama missed. The shot had come from Issa right from there. Oh, now look at it. Oh, just look at it. And it is Ophelia Sewa Aponsa. Look at the celebration. Just look at it. Oh, my well. Cape Coast Posterior erupts onto your feet. And the ladies will smile. They can now give a sigh of relief that at least they're taking a two-goal lead going into the break. And will they ask to the tally? I think at this point, the question will be, are we going to get an opportunity to sell? And see where she had two markets trying to race with her, but she still decided to slot it in. And I think that she just directed, she had the direction right this time around. Uh, so that is the confirmation for you. Big two goals for Ghana. Ophelia Sraponsa with that fantastic one in additional time to increase Ghana's good tally. Uh, CC will drive this one for it. Comes off a face. And that will be a walking goal kick to those in the white shed. But here is the lady of the moment. Uh, she plays for Ampim the Qua. They were very, very quality in the cup. It was such a shame that she didn't get the opportunity to play when they went to the Champions League because she was nursing an injury. Even though they went with her, she didn't recover in good time to play because I am sure, I am I have no doubt at all that perhaps mm. she would have left off, she would have continued from where Evelyn Bedou of Hazakas ladies left off when Hazakas made their debut at the Champions League in 2021. Well, so that is the belief of my co-commentator. Oh, but he's a quality player. No two is about it. Oh, lovely. Was trying to look for the round of Abdullah Mukurama. Well, the Senegalese read it well. There's been lots of traffic of <laughs> great set any time these princesses, don't, players do don't, have the ball. Don't blame them. They need to do anything to ensure that they stop the white shirted ladies from surging forward and to, from threatening their goalkeeper because at any given time, you see them, you don't see them running together, but they run into space, they get hold of the ball, and they make good use of it. At least, initially, they were not making good use um, of the spaces within the final third. Then 10 seconds for the referee Rahel in Kiziri to take a look at her watch. But for now, it's a throwing advantage that stays with it. Taranga Lionesses, and so that is the conclusion of the first 45 the departments of this game. And it's the Black Princesses of Ghana to their star ladies Tracy Chuman, Sewa Ophelia Ponsa that have jumped into the lead, quality display, performance, perhaps questionable, but in terms of finding the back of the net, they've done that exquisitely. Well, sometimes you don't need to play the fine football. 
what Matthias Moses is getting the goal. But I think that initially they were jittery. They were allowing the Senegalese to use their physique to determine how the game was played. But once they settled in and took control of the game, they were able to control and direct. We were talking about the fact that there was a misconnect between a disconnect between the attacking lineup and the midfield. But I think that in the last ten minutes they did, even though most of the feedings for the goals had come from long gloves, you still realize that the midfielders were always closing in to ensure that the attackers searched for. And for me, that is it. I don't I, I certainly know that Masiki is going to give them another hard talk in the dressing room, asking them to play their game and not allow the Senegalese to detect the pace of the game. And once they do that, I'm sure when they come back in the second half, they are going to see a better princess as well. So half time in Cape Coast, there is a Black Princess of Ghana 2, Senegal 0. And the fans, can you blame them? They, yeah. are, they are enjoying themselves. All they want is goals. And at least this evening, they have been served two already.
every child is so unique. You like no other. Outstanding in every way. It's me like no other. So anytime you walk and play. You like no other. You are special like Indomie. It's me like no other. Did you know that every child on the planet has their own unique fingerprint like no other? You like no other. their own unique talents and abilities. I can cook, I can paint. You like no other. In the mirror, in the mirror. You like no other. So every day, in whatever you do, remember you are special in your own way, like no other. Thank you, Mom, for letting me know I'm special and for making me my special Indomie. Thank you, Mom. I love my Indomie. This effort is FDA approved.
Ebony condoms. Make it worth it. All right. All right. We amazing show. But I doubt if Basigi would allow his charges to slam for the Senegalese. Every child is so unique. You like no other. I'm standing in every way. It's me like no other. So anytime you walk and play. You like no other. You are special like Indomie. It's me like no other. Did you know that every child on the planet has their own unique fingerprint like no other? You like no other. their own unique talents and abilities. I can cook, I can paint. You like no other. In the mirror, in the mirror. You like no other. So every day, in whatever you do, remember you are special in your own way, like no other. Thank you, Mom, for letting me know I'm special and for making me my special Indomie. Thank you, Mom. I love my Indomie. This effort is FDA approved. <laughs> It's begun from the central region, so that should come as no surprise for you at all. And I think that we have produced some of the best players we've had. And once upon a time, the rivalry between Cape Coast and Russia Dwarfs and Venomous Vipers. I mean, it's, it's thrilled our league and the region. It's unfortunate that because of one or two issues, they are not as vibrant as they should. But I think that the fans generally love their football. And so when you sell good football to them, they would come out to watch. And that is exactly what we are seeing. Interesting, I mean, more excitingly, we are seeing more females coming to support the women's team. There are some good news for football in the country. Also, this are some... ¿Quieres 720 euros? Consíguelos ahora con la cuenta online BBVA y tus recibos. Más info en BBVA.es get ready to continue from where we left off. Just a small shake up there from the Black Princesses, yet to be joined by the Taranga Lionesses. Just wondering what might be going through the mind of these ones. And uh, you can see Abdullah Mukrama and her colleague who have that two chat encourage each other. And see what becomes their destination after the next 45 minutes. We we'll love every action here. Electrifying atmosphere in the stadium. Deafening sound. And it's quite crazy to miss this action. That has been served hot and sweet in Ghana's Fortress. We're oh, talking about the Black Princesses of Ghana. Uh, to find it in the games. They've been able to beat Ethiopia by go to the Okan Kese Comfort Wushu. They also on match day two trashed Tanzania. And again it's Tracy Truman, Abdullah Mukurama. Who found themselves on the score sheet. Uh, Senegal gets ready for a substitution here. And it's player number seven that have been introduced in place of Bajo. They play the nice set. They cast it. And so that is it, just one substitution. Quick one from the coach as we continue this game. It's now deep in the half of Ghana. At least they're hoping to work their way out of danger. She could really track the ball through. Rashid he was trying to pick out Ophelia Punsa Pelai Nyaku has it it's quite swanty her teammate but uh, it has been quickly intercepted by the lady that have been introduced into this game uh, Senegal looking a bit more promising in a few opening seconds of the second half department Oh, lovely touch there, and look at the run. Connect to her. Abdullah Mukurama. She's got three, five wide set. Brilliant pass, but again, the flag is already up. And she smiles. That could have been a real danger. 
Anytime she's on the ball, isn't it a threat to the opponent? Big threat. Well, well, Kasset was not introduced in the first 45 minutes. She's been a regular starter, Mastelli, played against Morocco. By starting, she was rested in this game. But the coach has found it necessary to bring her on because uh, her place is having a bit of pause there. And that is where it looks like the Ghanaians are breathing through. At this moment, it looks like the Senegalese have abandoned their midfield play. You realize that in the first half, they were much, a lot more tidier in midfield. And so it was preventing the balls from getting through until the Ghanaians resorted to using the flanks instead of driving through the midfield because they realized that it was not working for them. I don't know when the Senegalese intend to regroup, but if they want to beat Ghana, or at least draw even before they push the game to extra time and whatever, I think that they would have to better organize their midfield. Alassane gives the ball away to the Senegalese. He's been flashed out of that Ranger spot. That is a twin advantage. Now that will stay with Ghana. It's comfortable. Who goes for it? Finds a strike. Mate Abdullah Mukurama who gives it away to the green set. It's back to the half. Seen most of the ball. A support touch from Mary Wa. A rather comfortable. Nominated for Cav Young Best female player. Uh, fails to win it. Lost out to uh, the Moroccan. I mean, she had a great competition when she went to the women's championships. And I mean, she won two best players of the match game MVP. And she was nominated. And so that wouldn't be bad for somebody who was playing in the Champions League for the first time. If she gets the opportunity to play for the princesses in Colombia, I am sure that we are going to see more of such excellent performances. Oh, so she's just 17 years of age. But it's, it's every coach's dream to have her on the team. She's hardworking, she knows, I mean, she's skillful, and she plays intelligently too. Very well, links up to Comfort Ivoire. Oh, she took her eyes off the ball for Sunny. At least managing to keep her composure as she drives that one forward. I couldn't pick out Bassett. As it to be Ghana Stroy. She's a huge prospect, I must tell you. It's back to where it began from. Sunny gives out the ball to. Mary Wa and she comes across it. She say, it's rather than dying. Who comes across that one? Only to affect the danger. I think Ghana has affected a change. I'm trying to find out who has been fooled one. But for now, they are really pushing the Senegalese into their own half. Not the best of that from Mary Wa. As this will give opportunity to the Taranga Lionesses to break out, I say. You know, first he pickets at the right spot and concede another throw in. A lot of white shirt we searched for. I was just wondering if that could be a long throw in to the ball to see. If the scrap will just look at them, Abdullah Mikurama saves the situation. Kelsey. Hey, sir. But here is a lovely true ball to find. The lady who just came on, Kelsey, but again, brilliant. Oh, intelligent. Run by the defender, Hannah Nyomi, to at least. Taking a photo ahead of Kansai to avert that trouble that was looming. 
she had to be alert to be able to do that. If she was, she take, she had taken her eyes off the ball. I'm sure it would have been a different story. And that is what every defender should be doing. The fact that your teammates are at the other end attacking and harassing doesn't mean that you should take your ball, your eyes off the ball, because at any given time, the tide could change and you'll be, you, it, it will be your turn to also show what you can do to defend your goal. Oh, here the right back hits long one inside into the center cycle. And they're still looking for Abdullah Bukarama. Found says he still managed to keep a composure. Drive to traffic of bodies. Lays one to find Mary Wa. What can she do? Takes it inside and goalkeeper Margin Dai arrives early to make a claim of that one. Here they come through from the far well, side. A player, a Senegalese player, lies on the turf, and I'm surprised her teammates are so clean. Oh my goodness! A Senegal penalty, and it's a a bit by Isa. We'll complain to the referee, or oh, I guess we'll have to watch it again. She did. She, I mean, it wasn't intentional. She was just turning. She turned into her, but the referee judged that as an obstruction. Well, so let's see. As Senegal's captain, Dilo, who gives him at least a life for her to pull one back in his game. And it's going to be the lady in the 8th circle got the obvious stars of doing that Kande. A place for Kumai Di Seju to be goalkeeper if Yamanyaku, but don't forget, goalkeeper if Yamanyaku have shown on a couple of occasions that he's got the quality of hands to prevent any ball out of a yoni net. But can she score? And Senegal are back into the game. Alice, they've got one back. Rukaya to Kande finds one for them, and it means that the Black Princesses will need to at least find a way to increase their tally to ensure they stay in the lead with some two gap margin. They would have to regroup and make sure that they increase the tally again to what of an east to west. But we need to be worried, I mean, Coach Basigi needs to be worried that in every game in this competition, her side has conceded a goal. It's not the most impressive record you would want to have. Sometimes you would want to have a clean sheet in a game. Unfortunately, that has not happened. In all three games, this is the fourth game they are playing. And in each of the games... Oh, hold on a minute. Just a shoot! Comes on the world record states. It's Danny with 10 power and that is it. Ophelia Sawapata has gotten Ghana's dead. Less than two minutes when Senegal got into the game. And God is my friend. It reads lovely scenes. I mean, I, I can't even react because. I was looking at the moment that um, Tracy flopped the opportunity and it looked like there was nobody to connect the rebound, only for Ophelia to come from nowhere to come and stop it in. And for me, that is a hallmark of, a, of an intelligent striker, a goal coacher, a proper goal coacher. And I think that that next lead has been now comfortably restored. Oh, Senegal made a mess on their defense. And they've been punished for it. They were so jubilating that one goal they had pulled back. Oh, I yeah. mean, when you are playing against a team like Ghana, you have no time to jubilate, especially if whether you take the lead or whether you equalize. When, especially when you have been an attack for most of the time, for a greater part of the time, you don't go jubilating. Once you over jubilate, and that is what football is about. Until the final whistle, 
It is concentration full 90 minutes. And they have been, unfortunately, they've been punished for taking their eyes off the ball. Oh, looks like these black princesses have been rejuvenated after their counterpart pulled one back from the penalty spot. But Mayfia Nyami gets ready to come on. No, the fans get their wish. I mean, you know, moments ago, they were calling for bring on Mayfia, we want Mayfia. And I think that Coach Basigi, now that his side are leading 3 0, 3 1, he can comfortably bring Mayfia to come and continue. She pull, he pulls out Mary Boateng. Oh, she was a very instrumental for them at the under 20 World for Big Cup, which they won. Host and win dream really materializing, but here they are out on the road for another such visit. And you can see the gaffer he's, having he's those so tries to tidy up his defense. So, talking to Hannah and Abiza, they are the life who are as in the heart of defense, and so if the defense will be tighter than it has been now. I think it will be dependent on the two of them, and he he chooses to have a pep talk with them. Entonces, ¿cuál es el próximo gran cambio? Galaxy cree que el próximo gran cambio eres tú. It won't be fair if Mukarama does not get on the score sheet. He would need she would need to get a goal to ensure that the Trinity is complete. So well, let's see if the Trinity is complete, but for now. Uh, scorekeeper Ajit Ndai who stays on the tip. Uh, she's been a quality goalkeeper for them in this tournament, just that she's been on the losing side several times, played for AS Bombay. But for the fans, they would love to see all of bunch of goals, lots of goals here. They are never satisfied. It looks like fans are never satisfied. Once you start feeding them with the goals, they would always yearn for more. No agony for Senegal. Not at all, these Ghanaian fans. Enjoying every moment. They don't get this often, so once they have it today, they want to make full use of it. It's been a brilliant outing for Coach Jussi Masigi and her girls tonight. But we've got big minutes left on the clock as well. Take nothing away from this game. And you can see the mood from on the catch line for the Senegalese. Moments of despair, trying to rekindle and regroup and encourage themselves. It's not lost. Football is played within 90 minutes, and we are only not even near the 60th minute mark. So there's still plenty of time. In football, 30 minutes is still plenty of time. And hopefully, let's see what they can come out of it. The referee, Rahul Ngiziri, who at least comments from where she left off. It was a corner kick for Ghana. With Rashid gets ready to effect that one. Faisa up to Rashid. Swing is across, and that is a poor corner kick delivered into the channel. And at least that is a briefing space for these young ladies. Oh, but that is a bit of trouble. Looks like goalkeeper Arjen Dai will not be in the right frame of mind to continue this game. And this could be a huge blow point to the fact that she saved them on numerous occasions in this match. Is she going to receive medical attention or they'll just come and assess and take care of? And the good thing is that for a goalkeeper, you can always receive all the attention you, did, you require on the turf. Once you are stretched off, you cannot make a return. Unlike the outfield player who can go out on a stretcher but still come back to come and play. For goalkeepers, the moment you are taking off, it means that is the end of the game for you. Uh, the stretcher has been invited. And you can see Adama, the huge centre back for them, also seems to be feeling the pain of the goalkeeper. 
what I see, or it might have resulted into that. Uh, it looks like she was stepped on. What well, the truth is that she's been at the end of most voracious strikes in this game. Either trying to palm it away or trying to... I mean, you, you can never have many rest when you have dangerous attackers always lurking around, harassing you, and your defenders look like they are helpless. I, I don't think that this is the best defensive play that the Senegalese can put up. They should have at least had a strategy. I think this is the end of the road for Dai, so far as this game is concerned. Once she's been stretched off, it means that Senegal would have to make a change and bring another goalkeeper on. Oh, that is a big blow for them. Big, big blow. And she speed. They are source of hope between the two sticks. And most of the time, if you have the number one been retracted in games, it tends to disorganize the back. And I'm just wondering how Coach Chief is going to communicate that to her back line and the readiness of even a goalkeeper coming Especially in. Especially when they didn't see this coming and so they didn't have the goalkeeper warm up. It means that whatever warm-up she will do will be when she gets onto the pitch. And sometimes that can affect the psyche of the goalkeeper. And it, needs to, it takes a strong world one to be able to overcome it. And I'm sure that with the Ghanaians having noticed that there is a change in goalkeeper, they would waste no time at all having a go at her, hoping to see what she brings, if she can also withstand the shots that they will be firing at him. Well, so let's see. A lot of minutes being wasted as we get ready to have another goalkeeper brought in. And there she comes. Cardify. Now Cardify, who plays for Igelo D. Medina, has come into place of Ajin Dai. But the big question is that, can she continue from where her colleague left off? At least you need to ensure that she do not concede any goal to have the dream of Senegal getting into this game. That would be a tough task. That would be a tough task. No chance to warm up. No chance to psych yourself up that you are coming in out of the blue. You are thrusted into the game, and it takes a strong world player and a very experienced one to be able to do that. Uh, the direction of the ball have been changed by comfortable with that enterprising run to always intercept that one. And was walking straight onto the path of uh, Kase, who was. Racing to meet it and see if she can punish goalkeeper if here. I'm a Yenuku within the two sticks for Ghana. But they've been rewarded with a corner kick. And that could be an opportunity to weave their way back into the game. Deliver inside. And if Yamanuku drops it but picks it on the second rebound and stays on the tap. I think that was a contact. Just look at it. It was a nice delivery. Or a nice ball flighted inside. She gets a hand to it. But if you look at the challenge that was coming from Kaze, there was no way fear was going to stand on her feet. Goes to the ground. And she needs some medical help. Understandably so. And as a confirmation of the scoreline for you, so Ghana leading this game. By right, three goes to run. Okay, the obvious favorite to join the Falcons of Nigeria. As we remind you of tomorrow's fixture in the men's division. Both happening at that first sports stadium. Certainly. Cracker matches. 
the one everybody will be looking out for, Ghana versus Senegal. I mean, that is the host nation, and you want to see the fans in their numbers. The host nation and the under 20 African champions. Wow, that looks to be a battle already. A final before the final. Well, Congo will also be greeting Uganda in the other semi-final game. I mean, it's an, it's an interesting how Uganda managed to get into the semi-finals for both men and women. Senegal had their men and women in the semi-finals, and Ghana also had their men and women in the semi-finals. Is, is, is this an indication of anything? Either well, of them is assured of a medal. Certainly, perhaps football is developing in all parts of Africa, and that's a lot of credit to the continental football governing body. But the Ghanaian fans who uh, have a bit of aesthetics displayed in that dance formation. Well, it's just right to think that we're going to have lots of additional time, considering how play have been halted severally in this particular half. 67 minutes already cleared. And the fans are not getting tired anytime soon. There's the 13th edition of the African Games. And indeed, living the African dream and experience it. I remind you that athletics will continue tomorrow at the University of Ghana Sports Stadium. As well as other events happening across the various venues for team. University of Ghana and other selected venues. The hawk everywhere, everywhere. I mean, there's something I mean, for you too. We are in the final week of the games and the exciting track and field events are taking shape. Already, I mean, there is talk of Ghana versus Nigeria in the relays. And it is because in Abuja 20 years ago at the games, even though they generally led Nigeria to sweep gold and bronze in the 100 and 200 meters, Ghana flopped their dreams by winning the relay, the 100 by 4 relay gold in such a photo finish exciting race and the nigerians have never ever forgiven ghana for that so they say they are back in ghana to avenge that loss right that abuja wrong in accra and they are looking forward to that but whilst we wait for that i think that i mean senegal we were talking about the fact that senegal football is on the ascendancy the men have been very dominant the, their senior men are the African champions. Under 20 have been dominating. Under 23 have been, even the under 17 side. And so one would have thought that we would have seen the same replicated in women's football. It looks like they still haven't gotten there yet. Well, so we are back to action now. Uh, Senegal in possession of the ball. Abdullah Kurama first day to help. Finds Berlin, Nyako, or oh, Larry, square pass if I make you yummy. Well, she took her eye off. And that'll be it. Senegal. Throw it. Make you yummy. Now applies a trade outside Ghana. Well, was formerly a player of fixed ladies. Oh, so we need a top flight of Ghanaian football, but look at the run. The referee says games in continue. For Tarino, Abdullah Bukarama loses it out by the stays within the box. Drifted in again. Tracy Chu missed him around. The, 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 the Senegalese are lucky. They are lucky. They are lucky. I mean, the goalkeeper who has just come in, she has not been giving any respite at all. Not at all. And I mean, sometimes you can't blame them. You can't blame them. 
We're also talking about goalkeeper Cardi Fai. She's yet to be tested, but I'm sure she's been giving. Her goal area has been boiling. Boiling. She hasn't been called to absolute duty, but her goal area has been boiling. And it's a matter of time to see whether she'll be able to make a clean save of any shots that are targeted at her. A serious caution and a serious red flag that she needs to be on her lines or on her guard. I mean, she should have read through the lines while she was on the bench that she, I mean, her side hasn't had it easy and there was no way that if she was called to duty, she was going to also have it easy. Kalemo couldn't keep that one, but Sunny will get a huge boot to it. On the left hand side, where she's been based tonight. And she's been a real torn in the flesh of uh, the comfort you were. I mean, they've been dealing with each other squarely on that side of the field. I mean, to think that Senegal played in a three team group B against Nigeria and Morocco and everybody was thinking that it was going to be a very tough, tough contest in that group. Senegal lost 0-4 to Nigeria in their opening game, but surprisingly they recovered and beat Morocco 4-0 and that is how they qualified because in terms of goals, I think that they, they came above Morocco and so they qualified for this round. And now that they are here, they already conceded three and have scored one. Um, I, I, I said that maybe they, they flatter to deceive because sometimes you see the Senegalese and you think that they are very strong side, they're forced to reckon with until they play and then they start conceding the goals. So either they have stronger opponents or they still haven't figured out how to build a strong defense for them, for their teams. Well, the absence of Cameroon, at least leaving three teams in that group B. Yes, Cameroon was supposed to have showed up, but they did not. But here comes Mifeng, I mean, with a couple of steps. Up front for Ghana finds Abdullah Mukurama. Where Tracy Chu on the far side, but they've been useful size. If you know me once again fighting for it, we see it finds comfortable. The first tax obviously too huge. As it takes Mifi and Yami in the loving chat to stop that. Can't say. That's Hannah. Uh, the Senegalese player was watching it and was trying to go for the race against Hannah. It was a bit faster on that occasion. She has her eyes on the ball. She's never taking her eyes off the ball because she knows that just as the Senegalese came in and earned the penalty, they could come back. And so at any given point, yeah, and don't forget that she and Berlin had a pep talk and Abi Raisa had a pep talk from Coach Basidi that under no circumstance should they allow any ball to slip in again. And so they have been very alert and focused on the role they've been given. Maybe by some of this work, but uh, to stay halfway deep in their own half, but comfortable comes to Ghana's rescue. Abdullah Mukarama tried to maneuver away through the traffic of green chest there, still keeps on to the ball, finds Tracy Tube. Oh, looking for the run of Ophelia Akuncha, but again, there's a Taranga Lioness is ready their line, and it's out with that clever Hetty. Stop the onslaught that was being attempted against them from the far right hand side. At this moment, the Senegalese would want to try anything because obviously playing in midfield, playing against Ghana in the midfield tussle hasn't been in their favor. So at this point, they would resort to the long gloves, trying to break through on the flag, hoping that it will work for them. I think they need at this moment. They can cool their hearts off with the water break. Ghana have put them under too much pressure. Well, so that's the water break in the referees. Equally, will have some sip and have some talk among themselves. 
Parece que sí, coach, sí, va a seguir. At least trying to tell her ladies that you need some sort of agency to ensure that the business is completely done. You are in the lead, but the business is not done yet. It can be done after 90 minutes and some additional time. That is a stadium that I've been filled to the brief. As we have also enjoyed some fantastic officiating from these officials. Sarah Kamed of Algeria. Jira Piel Bangana of Penin. As well as the mean lady herself. Rahel Nzigiri of the DLC. Oh, she's just 24 years of age. And already, she's taking her career to another level. And those, that is assistant coach there. Well, interestingly, they both manage the two biggest rival in women's football at the moment in Ghana. A pimp that ladies and Hazakes ladies. But look at how they are trying to fasten on their differences for the national team. At the local level, they can be rivals, but when it comes to national interest, I think they come together to ensure that that was a clever, clever interception by Hannah Nyan. This is a trade opportunity trying to weave her way through, but Mefi Nyami savages the situation for Ghana, puts that one in. And Tracy Chi will need to at least Ensure that most of those want to short passes go through comfortable hot run. But again, I, ha I haven't been happy with impressed with your overlapping this evening. I think she should just stay back and do what she's been assigned to do at the rear and allow those who can't get it right to do the running up for. Oh, it's gonna destroy it. On the right hand side, deep in the half of Senegal, sent across. And die heads it backwards. Kalamo gives the ball away to Issa. And quickly finds the path of Al Hassan. Issa will now find Mifia Nyami. Al Hassan. Uh, my referee has got something to say. That was a good interception. Yeah, look at how is reacting. Uh, well, quite lucky not to have gone into the book of the referee. Let's see what happens. Was a touch from that, was, that was no touch. I think that she went for the ball, but she went behind her, and that might have caused that. Maybe not too strong, but referee. It wasn't intentional. <laughs> but, uh, it's like bumping. It's like bumping into somebody, but this time from behind. But Faisal will count herself very lucky. At least not to run away with any yellow card. But it's Diallo. Oh, what a rocket of a hit there. If you mean you could save me in the situation. That was a lovely hit. And it's just a signal that the black princess is needed. They haven't given up, the Senegalese haven't given up at all. Oh, look at it. Lots of collaboration there, but finally, on each And how many Ghana players on the turf? Did they hit each other? Oh, look at that one for a save. And let's see. That was a great save. A very brave one.
What man is a player who stays within the 18 yard and has been a 10 at As Just look at it for a corner kick. A well ticket corner kick. And die his head out, not too strong. That's a pocky from the captain of the side. That's a fair play. Maybe he wanted to give it to the Senegalese. Tracy Chu. And now you cannot find outside up live Okarama. You cannot find any white shirt up front. And this is where the Senegalese will have the courage to regroup from the back from Bassein. Can't she give it on the turf? And she will find Captain Diallo. Waiting for the time to be added on, but we have just about eight minutes to end the full 90 minutes. We wait to see how many more minutes will be added on. But at this moment, I mean, they are strategizing, each side is strategizing not to concede and possibly capitalize on the mistake from the other to increase their tally. So corner kick from the right hand side floated in by Aponsa. Two players gliding into each other. They stopped. Tracy switch to the right hand side. Okay. And there's somebody already caught in their web. Bella Nyako was already in it. And that's another huge sign of relief for Senegal with Bassett. Goes from a marker, but it will be a throwing advantage to them. They are doing everything possible to at least turn this tie on its head. And if Got just six minutes of normal time left to do that. Are we going to see more goals or another goal? And if that goal came, whose side will it be? Will it be for Ghana or will it be for Senegal? But as we speak, it was the Ghanaians who are attacking. Uh, Abdullah Mukama couldn't really make good use of that. Uh, she Not her nights today. She's been checked. Not her nice. Well, by Sunny and that I, I, I think that the Senegalese have done a good work scouting and making sure that. But I mean, not entirely because she's had some brilliant chances that she could have even converted on two different occasions. So she's not been entirely kept in check. Just that is just not her day because she's not able to make use of the opportunities that she creates. Not a bit clinical up front. Not tonight, not for tonight. Oh, that's brilliant play to the right hand side. Samba lays it on to Kasi Bate. It'll be difficult for her to go on that path because Tracy Chip has fallen deep. At least you clear that one. And she's been everywhere outside Abdullah Bukurama, who has been joining the back line sometimes to help with defensive duties. And equally, that's another decoy. And that's a poor kick, isn't it? For a team that is looking to get back into this game. Maybe, maybe they were hoping that it would have gotten a few on the wrong foot and maybe found its way into the net. Comfort Yeboah. Don't forget they saw Ophelia do similar things. Comfort Yeboah! Oh my goodness! The final touch! From Mephia Nyami. The goalkeeper got in the way. Cardify! That was a lovely way to throw herself onto the ground, magnify herself to make 
Right, Gio Bishin, I mean, just hitting it slightly. Very difficult. Bassin. Tracks it. To the left hand side. Yes, sir. Al Hassan. Gives it away. Uh, Senegal. Calamo. He's stopped right there. Brilliant. Defended. And die. Diallo, captain of the side. Oh, but nobody in particular again. How many times? Or the lioness is off Taranga. Struggle to. It looks like the die is cast for them. Just look at his enterprising run. Tip into the box. In fact, Comfort should have had a goal, an attempt at goal herself, because she had closed the gap and she could have slotted past. Because at that point, so that is another substitution. Juliet Kalemo has been impacted in this game. Well, it's another face to be seen on the turf. And that certainly is going to be Samano. But yes, Bela Nyaku. Strong challenge coming. If you know me. Up to like. Oh my goodness, what a play from here tonight. She's got Chrissy Chief in plenty of space, finds her. A lot of watch that signal for the ball. Up the line with Kurama. Can't she get her on tonight? Going around the bodies. I see losses out on the ball. I'll say it again. Anytime she gets the ball, she has more than two players on her. So it makes it very difficult for her to. To find her way uh, yeah. around the defense. She's been a real danger. But you see, she was brought in as a decoy. And so she being there and harassing the Senegalese have also paved the way for Tracy and Ophelia to score the goal. And I think exactly that was the plan. It's worked, but it would have been nice for her, her, I mean, to have Mukarama also getting on the score sheet. Well, so let's see. Well, we've just got 10 seconds to hit the 90 minute mark. And as this just just Senegal knows that he could be out of here control if nothing special happens from this time. And the minutes now will be added on. Kande. Could he really hit that one too? So, 10 minutes. Wow. Oh, I said it. Yeah, that was stoppage. Lots of them. Lots of breaks and the stoppage. So. But let's see who is going to take advantage of that huge minutes that have been added to this game. Would it be the Black Princesses or would it be the Lionesses of Taranga? At least 10 minutes is endurable compared to the fact that if they had played a drawn game, we would have been pushed into another 30 minutes of extra time. So they can endure this one. Oh, she's brought a referee. Oh, at least has somebody get up onto her feet. As Mifinyami wins the sympathy of the referee. I mean, that first semi-final game between Nigeria and Uganda was won within regulation time and it looks like history is going to repeat itself. There will be no extra time in those games. I think that was 74th minute and somewhere around the 90th minute mark when Chiamaka is finding the back of the net to complete the story for the Falconet of Nigeria. But not the best of face from Abdullah Mukurama. 
sometimes they do some of these things to also buy time. It's all part of their term menace, isn't it? Well, certainly it's, it's part. So she will not walk off. She would want to be taking off on the stretcher. And then she will go and come back. So by which time, some of them would have caught their breath. Because maybe they were thinking that within 19 minutes it would have been over. Well, lots of plots coming in from the stands for her. She has been a quality player. And it's time to say goodbye to the rest of the team and the fans who really enjoyed a brown of football. But guess what? This is a lady to keep an eye on. Success, Amaya. The midfield maestro. I think that at this point, Masigi just wants to control the game and ensure that they just play to entertain the fans because she's in there to strengthen the midfield. And I mean, it's it's heartwarming to see the fans this evening applauding Mukarama. You remember after the first game, they were, they were booing at her. Well, if Coach Tim has really done his statistics as well, she shouldn't be laughing at all with that lady that will be into the game. There is another player that still needs to keep the taps on. As comfortable walks with this one, cutting. Trying to drift into the middle, drift in, find success. Tracy Chu drops it deep. Al Hassan. Oh, exciting play from the Ghanaian, isn't it? Comfortable with that brilliant piece of skill that will not beat Captain Diallo. Was like tire legs are setting at this juncture from both sides. A puncher, Bassin, a oh, lovely touch there. Nyaku will have a feel of it. Tracy calls for it, but Sasa Samia will have it. I told you at this point, they will not really play a hard pressing game to push for more goals. They would want to play more entertaining football and then see if they can have a chance at goal. It's time to entertain are, the fans. We are seeing it now with the midfield display. And that's in die. Very young. And there's a lot of learning care for her. Especially in these African games. I like Senegal for one thing. They like to show up for every game. They will not pull out, even when they know that their team is not strong. Because it is an opportunity for their players to learn, to get exposed, and gain the experience to be better. Success, Amaya, looking to pick out Tracy Chief. All the temple of the game has increased the bit. Well, Afi wants to enjoy, also enjoy part of the game. So even when she could have allowed the ball to pass, she still made the efforts to stop it. Well, certainly flying piece of the game now with the introduction of Amea. That's Bankiana with a flag on the far side. Halfway, Rashid drops it to find the line. Yanko who turns it in to comfort Yebwa. And so back to those in white. It's been Ghana, Ghana all along in the last six minutes. Success. Find some solace in Abiba. Long drive. Again, she knows that she could have at least hatched to that one if she had decided to go for the rate. 
as we leave them. We left with less than four minutes of additional time. Time flies. Quick one. Just like an airplane. If you decide to be crazy to me, but here comes a lovely one into Ghana's box. Say. Oh, but she's in some deep trouble. Shalamo. That can say what a fantastic night she's had. Since coming on, she's been a threat in and around the Ghanaian territory. Mephi mm Nyami, -hmm. a lovely play now, finds Nyaku, tens it eight onto Aponsa. Uh, behind her, and it means that Sunny will mop up the floor with that one. Just look at the run. Look at the pace. Wasting it at the end. Also, it's still Candes Gold at Senegal. Hands on two from a penalty spot. And since then, they've not been able to create anything. Exciting. But talk about their captain. They are losing. But their captain has been exceptional. A very exceptional. I mean, she's, she's worked hard. She's led by example. And I think that that is what all captains are supposed to do. It's advantage, you know, that will stay with Ghana as we've got just one minute left on the clock. Uh, Ghana will be booking that important day against the Falcons of Nigeria for the final of the 2023 African Games. For Senegal, they would have to settle for the tenth-place game against Uganda. We perhaps will go into that game with a different mentality. Third place games are always difficult to play. But for some teams, I think they, they, they know that there is a bronze awaiting them and so they will put in their all. And for both Uganda and Senegal... Oh, look at it here. No, it's a pop. Yes, 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 yes. Strike. And Cardify will not struggle to pick up that one. Referee takes a look at a watch. Could that be the last action? So that is certainly the last action of the game. And guess what? It is on course. Host and win. You see, Pasegi and Achayes have delivered an animals game to the fans tonight. Mission win gold on home soil is still on course for Black Princesses. Coach Yusif Basigi has gone 15 games unbeaten, 14 wins, 1 draw in this evening's win.